Shelby County hasn't had a full staff of bus drivers in years. Despite a pay increase, Superintendent Nyhoff says they're still struggling to get drivers on board. Coming into the school year, we were 14 drivers short. We've worked hard to narrow that and so we got to the point to where we were got it down to eight for a district running at least 80 bus routes daily many of which are rural being eight drivers short is creating its fair share of problems one of the challenges for us with the shortage has been efficiency so we look at how do we cover more territory or the same territory with fewer drivers and so it's about route efficiency. One of those changes, changing where students are picked up to cut down on the number of stops on each route. Hi baby. <laughs> Jessica Roberts first grade son was affected by the changes and that's why it's so concerning where the stop is because you know it's, we're a half mile away at this point and if we were running late or my grandfather didn't get there in time or there wasn't a family emergency weather anything we may not be here Roberts says she thought her son was going to be picked up at the end of his grandfather's driveway where he could watch him walk from the house but now she's not comfortable with him walking alone down the street my husband and I both work so so we have, we've had to rearrange our schedules to make this week work, um, and we don't currently have a plan for next week. Nyhoff says this weekend they plan to reassess the routes to find out what worked and what didn't work so that they can become more efficient. In Shelby County, Carrie Grace, WLKY News.